Now, I've spoken of the major towns, but this is equally the case that people living in towns and villages further afield, who may not even use the A40, are still suffering the ill effects of the congestion on that road. For example, Bladen, which is the village in which I live, we suffer from excessive traffic, particularly of HGVs, which rat run through our village on the A4095 in order to escape the congestion on the A40. Businesses across West Oxfordshire are shackled by those log jams on the A40, and I've lost count of the number of uh, businesses who've said to me over the last two years that they could expand were it not for the barrier that the A40 presents because of the congestion on it. The A40 is costing jobs and revenue, and because of the difficulties in people travelling in and out of West Oxfordshire, it is making con uh, recruitment for our NHS and for our schools very difficult. Now, this bid is connected to the delivery of the Oxfordshire Cotswolds Garden Village, which will see 2,200 new homes built on the A40 corridor. This, along with further developments west of Encham and Whitney, will put increased demand upon the A40, and thus the road's capacity simply must be enhanced if we are to cope. Mm. I have therefore looked to the Minister for his help in achieving funding for this. I have always been clear that transport upgrades, improvements to bus, road and rail, need to happen before not after new homes are occupied, ensuring that new development does not place an unacceptable burden on existing residents. Now, West Oxfordshire is an economically successful region, but, Madam Deputy Speaker, this does come at a price. That price is increased pressure on our existing infrastructure, less reliable, reliable connections and less resilience. The deficiencies in our current transport network must be addressed before we start to think about additional growth. But if we are to accept, as the Government has done, that Oxfordshire is a key growth area for the UK of paramount strategic and economic significance, then there is no excuse for neglecting our infrastructure needs. I have spent much of this debate discussing the investment I want to see for direct upgrades uh, on the A40, but we must not forget – I am very grateful uh, to the Honourable Member for the Cotswolds for having already um, foreshadowed the, uh, the points I want to make – the contribution to be made by West Oxfordshire's railways in tackling A40 congestion. It is in everyone's interests that we see fewer cars using the A40 wherever possible, and we can only see the modal shift that we need if our railways can offer a feasible practicable and reliable service as an alternative. In order for that to happen, we urgently need to see the remaining sections of the Cotswold Line redoubled, enabling more frequent, more reliable trains to travel from Hamborough to Oxford. Our continued campaign for the reopening of the Cowley Branch Line for passengers with a regular shuttle service to Hamborough. But if we improve bus and cycle links to and from Hamborough, we can create a public transport hub in West Oxfordshire taking cars off the A40 and reducing congestion throughout our area. We need to build a truly integrated transport network in West Oxfordshire that meets the needs of our area and enables residents and businesses to thrive in the years ahead. Well, in conclusion, Madam Deputy Speaker, for decades, congestion on the A40 has been one of the biggest issues facing West Oxfordshire, and I am determined to tackle it. Now, we're moving in the right direction with opportunities for investment from a number of central government funds. So there's greater cause for optimism than there has been for decades. But there's still much work to do if we are to deliver the improvements needed. And the main point I'd like to stress to the Minister is that it is not just, as we've heard from everybody who's contributed to the debate tonight, this is not just a matter of minor inconvenience for us. It's something that is a blight on the lives of commuters and a millstone around the necks of our businesses. It's vital that we work towards and ultimately achieve a final fix for the A40, because only then can West Oxfordshire and the surrounding areas achieve their full potential. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Minister Jessie Norman.